With the experience I've had into 5, as well as just kind of 4x games in general, whenever you're kind of stagnating, it's always best to go to war, and that's what I plan to do here. Now the problem with that strategy is I don't necessarily know all of the game's mechanics on how to stay stable, usually that's what 4x games do, is they, they realize that yeah, there's a lot of benefits to going to war, but they gotta keep you from from just going to war all the time. So, you know, there's little fa there's little things like unrest, like the noble and peasant unrest, that we need to keep in mind. Now, I'm at 9 authority right now, and I'm only at 7 settlements, and the plan is to take at least 3 dog cities away. So, dog, I'm coming after you. This is the first one, it's pretty much undefended, so we should be able to walk into it. Uh, another thing that I have been keeping an eye for, keeping an eye on, and learning more about, are the buildings we can construct outside of our territory. So there's these, these little things. Pavilions, there are also, also shrines, and monasteries that we can build on top of mountains. In general, also, there are things like, uh, uh, you know, there's the copper fields, which I'm actually working on a copper copper pit, I should say, uh, right now. That, that's going to help out my economy, and it costs no maintenance either, so that's really good. But uh, these things, these pavilions and these shrines, the pavilions increase noble happiness, and they give you a little bit more culture. Uh, the shrines do the peasant happiness. Then, sometimes, ooh, we could build another copper pit. Produces copper for trade. We already have one, which is part of the reason why we're making a lot more money. And, uh, then, I think we even have access to a monastery. Where is it at? Where's my monastery at? Oh, I think I passed it. Or, I'm not even... What is this? This is my shrine. There it is, right there. Boom, monastery. Monasteries increase peasant happiness by 20%. So I'm sure this has got to be equivalent to, for the nobles, I'm assuming. Uh, this thing is freaking expensive, though. About 1,200 gold. It's going to take six turns to complete, but it gives you two cultural, vic to cultural victory points, which is pretty nice. Um, but right now, I'm most, I'm most concerned about my economy. So getting more valuables, getting more resources worked around the empire is, like, super important. So I also have, of course, with my luck, bandits have popped up back in my capital. Um, now, I'm, I'm sending back one of my characters which is what they're called in this game, but pretty much one of my leaders. Uh, I had my both my king and my heir going for, into this invasion. That's a really bad idea, because uh, a couple tests I've done over the break have shown that if you lose both of those characters, you freaking suck. Not not that you suck, but your empire is going to suck, and you're going to uh, you're going to deal with probably a, a huge civil war. So I don't want to do that. So I'm sending my heir back at home, and that's also going to stable out and keep people happy in the. Uh, in the capital, because my capital is at 36 population. I don't want to lose any more population. That would be bad. So we need to hire some recruits back at home. And uh, here's the thing. Something I, I thought I had. I had I only have one archer regiment uh, back in the east to attack the west, I mean. To attack the dog. We need way more than that, that to capture his capital. Um, so I'm going to need for sure noble archers. If not, a little bit more. So I'm going to hire these two. And then... When we're done with the rebels, I'm going to go and uh, send them back towards towards the invasion. We should be able to take two cities before we need these guys uh, in the capital invasion to take out the dog. Uh, let me look at the, the major difference. Attack, defense. They're very good at long, obviously long spearmen are better at defense. We're going to be mostly attacking here, so I'm going to get two light spearmen. And I'm hoping four should be enough. I might even recruit one more. I mean, this isn't super expensive. I'm, I'm planning on may return to recruitment pool when disbanded in friendly territory. Yeah, so I'm going to get a third one up because I'm probably going to disband all of these melee units. And uh, we will stay right there because I don't want to attack across the river. I do believe I don't have I don't have raw numbers or values, but I know that this does that does affect things. If I try to attack across the river, uh, we will not do as well. So he's probably going to, you know, burn some things down. And, uh, and that, that kind of, you know, that kind of sucks, but, uh, you know, we'll see. So, um, let's just keep that there and let's hope that everything else goes okay. Maybe. How's my copper pit doing? Hopefully we get more of those copper pits. Uh, by the way, I have technology coming. Who's not moving? Oh, you're not gonna, you're not moving, right? That's fine. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the next turn. Um, so I have... Future technologies that are coming that will increase my authority, which is something I've got to wait for anyways, because um, I can't have, I can't take all of these three three cities 
without any extra authority because I need authority to to allow for my empire to, to take this stuff. Are we going to fight somebody? Are we fighting? You want some dog or you're not dog? You're you're a bandit, but that's still you know what I'm trying to say. OK, so you haven't even moved. OK, well, that's cool. Um, I don't know if I want to come after you. I kind of want to protect my you know what? I'm going to stay here. Can I cancel move? There we go. I'm going to cancel that move. I'm going to stay here. If you're not going to move into my territory, then it's all good. We'll, we'll wait. I, I'll, 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 I will throw some arrows into your booty across this river if I need to. So that'll be the plan. Man, I'm making like no money. But that copper pit should be up soon, so that will help. And my leader's coming back home too, which will really help. So you cannot combine two divisions with uh, when, when they're led by your king and your heir. So that's that's important to remember. Um, I can always, you know, I have not looked at my edicts in a while. Gentlemen ride a chariot. What the hell is that? That sounds very sexual in a weird way. Gentlemen ride chariots. Sounds like gentlemen's club. Is it a gentleman's chariot? Our army needs more chariot born soldiers. Yes, we do. Noble unrest. Uh, yeah, I'm not about that, like more increased unrest. So I don't think so. I'm going to ignore that for now. And, uh, and our invasion will now begin. So we can declare the war. And uh, and hopefully we make some money out of this. I don't know if we will. Is that the formation we want to go with? It looks cool. I will give you that. That formation looks tight. Uh, I guess we kind of have to. That looks... I don't know. And I really wish they would explain to us, like why one formation is better than the other but you know whatever it's fine population is declining is that happening everywhere it is why is it, why are you dying well, let's try to build some farms let's build a farm there and a farm there and I'll try to look around for some of these other places that apparently are having dying people had no idea I know this is not good because we're keeping our peasants working. Like that's not that's not good. Um, I don't want to do a whole bunch just because I'm gonna freak people out. Let's build some farms over here because there are bandits. Are we good? Okay, I don't know. That's that's strange. And yeah, we knew that somebody's not gonna move because because yeah. Okay, so you started to move. Come on, attack across the river. So that's them. This this should be super. We should be very successful. Oh, they didn't attack across the river. Yeah, that's right. This is for the siege. Okay, so there's nobody defending the city. There's also no walls, uh, which I do think that at a certain population, you get some default walls that come up. I, I'm pretty sure that that is the case. Um, no, no, thank you. I would like to not make peace with you. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, what was your population at? You're at 18. Oh my gosh, 18. Jeez. And you didn't have anything? That's weird. You didn't have any walls or anything? Well, whatever. All right, so let's come across here now. 18. Jeez. And what's happening to you? Are you on fire? Uh Oh, no, no, no. That's just telling me that I'm almost at my max capacity. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I know. So battle report, how did that go? We killed 60 dogs. Only two of us died. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty nice. All right, good. Do I want to take the chance? I feel like he's going to come across. I'm going to wait one more turn, wait here, try to have him come after us, and uh, let's do something with our technology. So we're looking for authority stuff. But I, you know what? I do need these mines. I need copper mines, gold mines, jade, quarry. Uh, more resources would be really good. And uh, increase authority. we got to go for the authority. I know because... Excuse me. Uh, because we are the zoo or the zao or whatever we should be getting up some cavalry units I, I i should have been doing that or that should have been like my number one priority but um we'll eventually get there can can i get this back out there we go that's better and uh where's my my leader he's coming okay good yes we're gonna skip this skip this turn battle of what okay good yeah so he did perfect so i called his bluff we're gonna fight up in the middle of this river Hey, make sure that they don't go around. Yeah, uh, whose bright idea was that? To let them go around. And you what? You better not let them do something. What are you doing? Are you archering them? You're No, you're focused on something else. Oh, gosh. 
Well, we have the, the numbers advantage, that's for sure. Oh, no. What did you do? Did you set... Did you set us on fire? Oh, we lost? Wait, what? Uh, that is not good. How did you lose that? Lands pillaged. Okay, good. Well, at least they didn't catch our capital on fire. How did you move that way? That's what I want to know. Good, the copper pit was finished. And that did not go well for us. I mean, it was a stag. It, we should have won that a lot better. All right, well, we've got to come after them. That's frustrating. Okay, we've got a few farms being built, which is good. Um, population is not dead yet. It's rising everywhere, so that's that's good. But we, I think we're going to get a bunch of people in the capital killed. That's frustrating. Uh, the game has got to give more information here. I, there's, a, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of numbers that I think are taking place underneath the surface that I have not... That, I'm, that is not being made aware to me, you know? So, that's weird. This pillage tile is not the worst thing in the world, but it's gonna they're gonna kill some people. I know that for sure. Our leader's on his way, so that's good. Do you wanna try to take the city now? Well, I'll move in. I will move in. Are we are we good everywhere else? I think so. Alright, let's let's go the next turn. Come on, let's go. Go take him down. Oh, I don't think there's there's no battle. All right, so we should be able to sandwich this dude from both sides, wombo combo, and uh, yeah, nobles. The nobles are not going to be happy about this. Well, I don't really know what the ha nobles say. Hey, the nobles are fine. The peasants are mad. Food shortage. Yeah, because we've been we've been, the the crap has been pillaged out of us. That's why. Okay, yeah. So I'm about to just sandwich you right here. You guys better not move. Hopefully, my king or my heir doesn't die. This is my error, so it's not it's not super bad. Yeah, it is on the fall. We lost at least one person. What's happening? The 12 areas resent. Okay, but but it's fine. Well, there is no one rest, but it's not that bad. At least we're still making money, so that's good. Okay, so go in here. Take that city. Um, our copper pit, I think, has been finished. And I need to look around for a, a few more areas. Yeah, we're going to occupy that. I mean, there's just lots of opportunity for us to build these buildings. I want that monastery, though. Actually, that's what I should be building next. 800 gold. The other copper pit. That is probably pretty important. Okay, so I think we're going to have two events take place. Yep. So we've got this one, which is kind of a big deal. Because they're ravaging through our capital. We're just getting ravaged. This should be a, a victory. Because I don't think there's anything here. We should win this siege. I cannot stand rebels. I'm getting really frustrated. Like, they are really annoying. Oh, good. We killed them all. Okay, that that really helps. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Please go away. They shouldn't have even made it over here in the first place, though. They shouldn't even have been able to pillage this stuff. So I've got to rebuild these farms because I didn't realize that in the first place, that pillaging means that I've got to rebuild the farms. Now we're down to 34 population. What's going on with you? Zero buildings of four maxed hostile armies near this territory. <gasps> oh, oh, and that's like a king or something. Okay, well, luckily I have. You don't have. Oh, I can't recruit anything here. That's not good because this city has nothing to defend itself with. Hmm. If I peace out, the AI is usually only taking. Dang. Well, how good is this city? It's only at two population. I can lose it and then take it back. I, I don't think there's any way... I don't think there's anything else I can do here. And it's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do. I mean, I could always hire a few guys. Let's do that. Let's hire a few guys. If we can kill their king or heir, that would be great. Oh, we actually might be able to get there to... We might be able to cause an impact. We'll see. I'll try to stop them. And uh, you chill inside. Oh, there are more. You're leaving, right? You better be leaving or else I am going to be frustrated. So frustrated. You get out of here. No, those are new bandits. Fantastic. Cool. Yeah, we killed a lot of the uh, the other 
bandits. They they did leave. How did how was this not successful? That's what I want to know. How did we not capture the city? Well, anyways, next turn. Okay, lots of things are happening all around. We've got this this city under siege. I don't know. Since he's only a few tiles away, can he start attacking? You better get over there. I don't know if you're going to make it. What are you guys doing? Okay, it looks like they're just chilling. They're just dancing. <laughs> okay, good. If they're just dancing... Oh, they, they retreated. They're like, I don't know if I want any of this. Or maybe they do. Maybe they do want some of this. Oh, they're going in. Yep, the king's gone in. Okay, so that, that city's going to get captured. I wonder what kind of impacts. It only had two population, so I, and it didn't have... Oh, you know what? It did have this copper minefield, though. That might be bad. There's nothing I could have done about it, though. I mean, I... There's no reason for me to have had uh, a unit there protecting it. It wasn't a very good city, and I had to deal with all those barbarians. So I don't really feel like it was a mistake. It's just something that AI happened to get pretty lucky with. As long as I can take it back, it's okay. What, where's the disease that popped up at? Whoa, 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 whoa. Sadly, as he ages, the man no longer has the, the vigor of his youth. Does that mean, did he lose anything? I'm guessing he lost a little bit of this stuff. Yeah, Virtue and Chi. I think so. City lost, I know. So we captured a city. So that's good. How'd this go? It went excellent. It went perfect. Alright, King. Just take over the capital and then we'll be good. I'll be very happy if we could just take over the capital. And then we will be successful. Let's try to walk into this place. If we can. And you've allowed these barbarians to do whatever they want again. Fantastic. I love it. I love them. I'm not frustrated whatsoever at those guys. Yeah, population continues to fall here in the capital. I gotta build more farms. Holy crap. Peasants are super mad. Why are you so mad for? Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. Oh, I'm losing money too. Well, yeah, because I lost that copper pit. Okay, well, let's see how this turn goes. Let's see if we can capture it back. I don't know if we can. That better go well too. So we sh that that bar that invasion should be fine. We should be able to take back our own city with no walls or anything. Did we? Or I mean, maybe it will take some time. It looks. Oh yeah, we did. Okay. Did we kill? Now did we kill that that king or or character that they had? Because they there was someone special up in there. Someone special. We might have. How'd this go? That wasn't the best. That should have gone better. Uh, it's okay. Uh, oh yeah, we killed. We killed whatever that was. Okay, cool. Okay, so we have to wait till the next one. I'm gonna have to start deleting the units because I've got too many units right now. But I had to. It was it was worth it. Oh gosh, these freaking barbarians! They're gonna make me lose my mind. I know that they're not barbarians. I know that they're bandits. I there, There's no difference to me. I, I still feel the same frustration. Maybe even a little bit more frustration from these bandits than I did the barbarians in Civ V. Um, stupid. Just very stupid. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.